Hey YouTube, this is Edward Elric, Full Bell Alchemist. Now, you may be wondering what's with the change of scenery. Well, Anime Snowball is spending a week to stay at her friend Kylara's house, where they will be I... watching lots of anime. They will be watching stuff like Yu-Gi-Oh, Black Butler, Woo! High School Host Club, and if Anime Snowball can push her friend into it, maybe some Soul Leader and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Not so, likely. Yeah, not likely she'll watch Full Metal Alchemist. But, oh well, it's her loss, right, fam? Not everybody can love Full Metal Alchemist or its amazing characters like me. Well, I suppose I shall talk about this amazing show, from its amazing three-dimensional characters to the amazing <laughs> fight scenes that involve me kicking ass, and also the... Ah! What the... Did you... What? What was that? Kitty. Well, you don't do that! What are you doing here in the first place? <laughs> well, besides annoying you, I'm actually here at the request of my master, Lord Sierra Phantom Hive, who has asked me to come here to promote our show, Black Butler. <laughs> Show, but this is my, I mean, anime snowballs blog. She doesn't want you buying in promoting your show. Oh, is that so? Well, last time I checked, she was a fan of our show as well. If you're so concerned about how she feels about me interfering, why don't you simply go ask her? Isn't she right over there? Fine, I will ask her. Hey, anime snowball, do you want this butler promoting his crazy show over here? Sure, why not? Thank you, miss. Fine. Since she says you can promote it, I suppose I'll have to let you do it. Hmm. <laughs> well, thank you, I suppose. After all, out of the two Funimation uh, shows we have today, I would assume mine would be the best after all. What? What makes you think yours is the best? Well, first of all, look at me. I think I win the prize for the most attractive male lead, at least here. I certainly don't see you winning the prize anytime soon. Hey, shut up. At least I have an interesting outfit. I mean, look at these shoes. Look at them. They are awesome. And, and your shoes are dull. And yet I have a tailcoat and a pocket watch. You can't beat that, now can you? Whatever. Look at my lens. They are robotic. I kill people with silverware. I can beat people to play pulps whenever I get mad. So can I. I don't even have to get mad in order to do it. I can catch bullets and throw them back at you and kill you. What Look. now? Well, I can use alchemy to make big chunks of rock fly at you. I am a demon butler. I can eat your soul if I so choose. Huh. <laughs> I'd like to see you try, pretty boy. Oh, I would. Except your soul's hardly worth consumption. I'm not sure if I should feel insulted by that. By that I mean it's just vile, disgusting, not special, hardly even worth lesser demons to look at. Mm. I.e., yes, that is an insult. Alright, I'm gonna tell you, you last brother! Don't get violent. Come on, no, now, let me out, let me out, let me out. Now that me is an interesting character. Look at him. He's a bloody suit of armor. With a kitty, nonetheless. Um, uh, thank you. Now that is an interesting character for a show. Now why they need a bloody fool like you in the show is beyond me. But you, sir, now you are fascinating. I must say, I'm impressed. Hey, I am very much the in the show. Go on, Alto. Wow. <laughs> no one has ever complimented me or my character before. Ow! You are spectacular, sir. I'm sorry he's dragging you down. Oh, I wouldn't say dragging me down, but thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now see this, my friends. This is interesting. Now that's a character. I don't know about the blonde one with the ponytail, but this is interesting. 
and he has a kitty. But it's Bryce. Yeah, I love cats. Sebastian! Excuse me, Sebastian, but why exactly are you standing here dilly-dallying when you should be promoting our show? I don't understand. It was a simple order. Why can't you get it right? My apologies, my lord. I'm afraid that these this fool here distracted me momentarily. That's hardly an excuse. Why don't you make yourself useful and go make me some tea or something and some chocolate cake. Seeing as you're so incompetent at today that you can't even promote our show when an imbecile like that is here. Yes, my lord. I shall return shortly. He takes orders from a little kid, seriously? <laughs> Well, at least I have all my limbs intact, and I went through hell and back. What have you done, exactly? Hardly anything interesting, I'm sure. Well, I would say, because I'm trying to promote my show here, but people like you keep on interrupting. Well, your show's hardly worth promoting. I have to admit, though, you are interesting, so I give you some props. Well, thank you. As for you, you have a bloody ponytail. And you get pushed around by a woman with a braid. Ponytail. It is a freaking braid. Ponytail. Learn the difference, kid. Kid. I'm taller than you. What about a big squeak? Yeah. I'm bitching with my kite. So that shit destroyed him. Where's the waist at? Long enough. I apologize, sir, but I was preparing your snack as you requested. Oh, never mind that. You're supposed to be worried about my well-being, or you won't have a soul to devour. Yes, my lord. A soul? Um, what exactly is this show about? Oh, allow me to explain. You see, I am a demon, a demon butler, to be exact. By contract, me and my lord, Ciel, Ciel. Ciel are in a contract where I will consume his soul after I help him exact revenge upon those who killed his parents and made him suffer hell and worse. Does that make sense? Oh, wow. And I kill people with silverware. It's very good. It's very fun. Oh, that's actually very unique. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate that. That's a very gracious compliment from such a fascinating character. Hmm, should I probably try and promote our show since my brother isn't available to do it? I Why not? Go um, for it. I guess I'll try. If anyone has a problem, I'm sorry, but I'll try my best to describe it. <clears throat> well, it's about me and my big brother, Edward. We try and bring our mother back to life after she dies through a human transmutation. It horribly backfires. My brother ended up losing his leg, and I lost my entire body. And once I was gone, my brother gave up his right arm to attach my soul to this suit of armor. So the story is basically about me and him trying to look for something called the Philosopher's Stone to get our bodies back to normal. And a lot of fans say that the story's really dramatic and has a lot of ups and downs through the series. It's longer than Black Butler with 64 episodes in Brotherhood, but I'd say it's good to try watching if you like a balance of different elements in your stories. And I guess that's all I can really say about it. Is that okay? Did I do good? Yes. Even Kyla over there is impressed, and she's pretty much denied watching the show altogether. Okay, I didn't deny it. I just said I wasn't in the mood to watch it because I have other shows to watch. I'm not shunning it anymore because it does sound interesting. Well, there you have it. Well, that's good. That's good. Ed, get over here and apologize. Oh, hi, Winry. Well, hi, yeah. Well, hello there, young lady. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hi, I'm Winry. I am Sebastian Michaelis. This is my master, Lord Shio Fantapipe. Oh, Lord. Well, it's nice to meet you both. Now, Ed, apologize for being so rude. Do I have to apologize or you face the wrench? I think I like her. Yeah. 
I'm sorry I got angry and laughed out at you. Now, there I said it! Like you mean it, Ed.